Hi, this is Zachary Lind, Instructional Technology Specialist working for the Ithaca City School District. So today I want to show you how to watch a video when your Chromebook does not have Wi-Fi access. In order to do this, you have to actually download the video to your Chromebook while you are on an active Wi-Fi network. So right now I can click on the bottom right of my screen and there's three little arcs that indicate I'm connected to the ICSD network. Next step that I need to take I actually need to go to my drive, so I click on my Google Drive icon. Wait for my drive to, drive to load, and then I need to find the video that it is that I want to watch in offline mode. So my drive loads up. Um, in my shared with me folder, I know I have a document that was shared with me earlier. So I go to my, or not a document, a video. I go to my shared with me folder, wait for it to load up. I'm gonna take this video, adding apps to your student Chromebook, and what I want to do is I actually go to these three dots. I clicked on it once, go to these three dots up here, and I choose to download the video. And I downloaded it once before, but you'll see it's downloading here. And wait till it's downloaded. The numbers go away, and it's now downloaded to my device. The next step that I need to take is I go to my app launcher and I type in files, and it brings up the files application. Click on that. And I can find the videos that I'm going to watch in offline mode under the offline tab. Since I've downloaded it, downloaded it, it says it's downloaded at 119, it's 120, so downloaded a minute ago. Here's my video, and all I have to do to watch it is double click, and I can watch that video. So the key to this is making sure that when you're on Wi Fi, that you download the video ahead of time, and that the video is not a link to a YouTube video, but actually the video itself. So the video is now on my Chromebook. And if I disconnect from Wi-Fi, I should be able to watch it. If you have any other questions, please let us know at the Ithaca City School District Technology Department. Thanks.